Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different from my normal hauls. Go over everything from locations, poses, how I edit my pictures, how I overall grew my Instagram. First tip that I have before you even go out to take any photos is find inspiration. If you're ever unsure of how to pose or what good locations you can go to to take your photos or just in general of what outfit to take a picture in, I would definitely go get inspiration photos from TikTok, Pinterest, or Instagram. A lot of times you can take photos pretty much anywhere. So some places that are easy to find are elevator pictures are huge right now. I've seen so many on Pinterest. Escalators are really cool, but those ones are a little bit difficult if you're using a tripod since they're moving. So I would recommend only doing escalator pictures if you have someone with you. Parking garages, garage doors, or gates are one of my go-tos. I love taking pictures at parking garages because most of the time they are empty. So it's a little less awkward if you're taking your own photo. Whenever I go to parking garages, one thing that I really like to find are cool light rays. So some parking garages that I know have cool panels on the walls and then the light filters through the panels and that creates a bunch of cool rays. So you can go to any neutral color building, whether that's outside of a grocery store, a mall, pretty much anything that has good lighting because lighting is what makes or breaks a picture. Honestly, if you have good lighting at your house and you have a plain white wall, you can just take some photos at home. I've seen some really cool pictures on Pinterest. I really like city pictures or anything where shops are because I like how busy the backgrounds look. And some other random locations are Ikea, supermarket markets or just any stores and those are really in right now so I'll put some inspo on the screen as well. For poses, that's something that I personally still struggle with. So I always use inspo pictures to plan out my poses. I've seen so many TikToks on go-to poses, whether that's for standing or sitting poses. And I have an entire Pinterest board of sitting pose ideas and standing pose ideas. So another tip that's kind of relates to poses is if you don't know what to do with your hands, I feel like holding a prop really helps it to look less awkward. So whether that's holding a coffee, holding sunglasses. Another thing for posing that I always think about and this is for the face is always look towards the light source and for me this is really important because stuff like my nose contour it is emphasized and it looks better when i look towards the light source so in this case the window is right here so i'm looking this way i'm kind of the same i don't really feel like my face is that photogenic so just look down in your pictures or just kind of turn to the side honestly you can just use your hair to cover your face use your hands and right now since masks are so normal you can take mask pictures so when I take my pictures, I take a video instead of taking a bunch of different photos. Because a lot of times when I'm actually trying to do the pose, I look a little bit awkward and stiff. But the in-between shots of me moving from one pose to another happens to be the good shot, if that makes sense. And like I mentioned, I do my pictures through a video. So I don't have to worry about using a clicker or a self-timer because the video, you just click it once and then you walk away and start posing. Pretty much the technique from using a tripod or using someone else is the same exact. I just have my mom hold the phone at the same level that I would for the tripod. And there's a specific TikTok account that I'm gonna link in the description and on the screen right here. And her advice for taking pictures is probably one of the best that I've seen. When I take my pictures, I personally prefer a lower angle and I like to shoot at wide angle. Since I am on the shorter side, I like to look taller if I can. I always had a hard time figuring out what level to put my tripod when I take my own photos. I saw a video from that same TikTok account that I mentioned and she physically showed what level to put the tripod when you do your wide angle pictures. And I tried that out for these pictures that I'll put on the screen and I really liked the angle. I thought it was perfect. And like I mentioned, I do shoot with a wide angle. So you do have to be careful sometimes. So if you shoot above like this with wide angle, it can make your head look really big and your bottom portion you're like your legs look really tiny but at the same time wide angle from a lower angle if you're not properly centered it can look kind of weird and make your legs look awkwardly long and then your head tiny another thing i wanted to mention is wide angle can look really blurry if the lighting is dark so for me whenever the lighting isn't that great i just switch to a regular camera lens one last thing is always double check your video and just screenshot one of the poses just to make sure that it fits in the four to five instagram photo size so for example last week i took these photos i didn't end up checking the photos until i left took screenshots of all the ones that i liked and once i put it to the four to five ratio i realized my whole frame didn't fit in the picture so i either had to cut off my shoes or my face go through the videos that i took and i screenshot every single still frame that i like i try to narrow down to around five pictures max 
So once I like those ones, I crop them to a four to five ratio if I'm gonna be posting those onto my Instagram feed or a nine to 16 frame if I'm gonna be posting it onto Instagram stories. And personally, if the lighting is really good, I don't like to add any filters just cause I think it looks fine as is. So if I think a photo looks better with the filter, I use presets and those are the only ones that I actually like. I've tried a bunch of different filters and personally, a lot of times they either don't do anything or they make the photo look worse. So the preset comes with five different ones and I just go through all of them to see which one looks the best. The other apps that I also like to use are Retouch if I need to remove anything off of the photo. And I think this app costs a dollar or maybe two dollars, but it's just a one-time fee So I definitely think it is worth it And then I also use snapseed whenever I need to expand the sides of the photo to make it fit into a four to five ratio Sometimes when you expand the photo it can make the sides look a little bit weird So I do clean it up with the retouch app the background is simpler like a plain white wall It's way easier to expand the photo versus when the background is super busy like this parking garage that has a lot of lines on the floor and the ceiling it's pretty much impossible to expand the photo because the lines don't match up I'm gonna quickly move on to just how I grew my Instagram and any tips that I have but honestly I don't feel like I have the best tips but you guys always ask whenever I do Q&A's on Instagram so I feel like the number one tip which pretty much everybody knows is just be consistent if you don't post any content there's no way for your account to grow so for me the main thing that grew my page was posting reels i did start when not a lot of people were posting reels so a lot of the ones that i did end up posting went onto the explore page there are a lot more people creating reels now so it is kind of hard to get a viral video nowadays but i still recommend trying it even though there are a lot more people posting definitely not too late because i have seen other accounts start posting reels later on and they have been able to grow their account from that and when you do post reels definitely make sure to post them onto your feed. Another thing that I wrote down was whenever you post pictures, tag a bunch of aesthetic accounts. And as for hashtags, I personally don't use that for any of my pictures or reels, but I think those could probably help if you do use that. Those are all the tips and tricks I use for Instagram and hopefully you guys learned at least something new from this video. Definitely go check out my Pinterest, Instagram, and TikTok. And if you guys have any other questions, definitely leave it in the comment section and I'll try to respond to that. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.